Welcome back to Let's Play Stretch Panic. Um, so last episode we just kind of got the whole intro thing. We explore an EX world. This time we're going to try out a boss. The star on the bottom left. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> ah, angry! I'll explain later. For now. You know. This is Cinder. This is pretty much the first boss in the game. It's one of your possessed sisters. The the uh the fat sister we saw at the beginning was one of uh, Linda's sisters. They have some weird designs, but yeah. So I never explained the health. Oh, this is one of their weak points. I sometimes have a red arrow pointing to it. If you can do it successfully, you'll get an extra point. So those are three different types of damage. We have medium damage, which is yellow, the light damage, which is blue, and the heavy damage, which is red. And also, grab this a point. And another one. So, the health is basically the star. As you take damage, you can also take light, medium, and heavy damage. Uh, as you take damage, this will fill up. Once it fills up all the way with damage, then you pretty much die. Same applies to bosses. Um, I guess that's about all that needs to be explained. Now, let's look at the Scarf Bomb, is what it's called. So, right now, I can't really... Um, I'm trying to think. Ah! Yeah, that's one of her special attacks. That hurts. You don't want to get hit by that. That's the demon that was... That's the demon that was, uh... Giving her trouble. So now we just defeat the boss normally, and we will actually save our sister. I think that killed him. So that's the first boss. What I was saying about the scarf bomb attack. Did I pretty much explain it? I don't know. Oh yeah, you just get to, uh, you don't actually control Linda, you control the two arms that come out of the scarf, and you just stretch the enemy to do green damage, which is just your special scarf bomb damage. Um, so that's that one. We have another EX world we can do. And I think we will do Siren next, which is the door right next to this world. So the last one was kind of a grassy EX world. This is more of a... It looks like a city, but I don't know if I can really call it a city. It's just a whole bunch of gratings and a big spotlight in the middle. Oh, you can't really see the spotlight. There it is. You can see the spotlight now! So that's the general idea of the game. Get points, defeat bosses with the points, and you're set. It is one of the most unique games I've played on the PS2. It's one of the weirdest. Overall, I think it's a fun experience. Even though it does have its weird points. Like, uh, these... these... yeah. <laughs> now I will do a scarf dance. Let's see if we can actually show off some of these abilities. Hella boobs! They use their. yeah. <sighs> as helicopters. 
They can become helicopters, they can ram you off a stage. I think they can actually slap you if you give them the chance. Uh, do you find this game weird? Because I hope you do. You're not the only one. Um, one of the big reasons I did this LP was because I looked all over YouTube. I found a few gameplay videos of this game. I found one camcorder LP of this game, but I found nothing else. This, this is probably about the first you'll see of the game. So, you know, kind of getting the word out. It's it's not a great game, but it's a fun game. You know, it's it's not long. It's the the controls for your movement can sometimes be a little bit irritating, but overall I like it. You know, maybe it's just me having a soft spot for treasure, but I really enjoy this game. So let's see if we can do this boss. Siren. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite boss fights, even though it's a really early one. Did I mention the, ga the game music is really cool? I've always enjoyed Treasure's music. So you got these little baby type creatures. Uh, when she sings, they will immediately get onto this carpet, I guess. Basically, you want to get them off before she more or less possesses them. Wish they would get out of the way. There we go. Now, that's what you want to do. Uh, best scenario. If you don't save the little baby creatures, they will they will get eaten by her, and she won't take damage for that whole thing. But they'll become these possessed evil flying babies, and it's not a lot of fun to have happen. But yeah, you just save all of them, and she'll eat her arm own arms. I'll have to show off the uh, baby possession thing just for the sake of it, but I'll only do it once. For the sake of showing it off. I'll just save all but one so I don't have to be deal with a whole bunch of demonic babies. They're so cute and baby-like. Yeah, I just really like this boss for how unique it is. Every boss in this game is unique. If there's one thing Treasure has always been great with, it's making a unique boss. Gather around, children. Oh no. The baby! We ate the baby! Dear God! So yeah, she turns evil. Um, she gets this little scythe baby. And I think we just saved it. Yeah, it's pretty simple. She'll shoot lightning at you. Ow. And it does hurt, so don't don't let this happen to you. Don't let this happen to you! It happened to me once, it was horrible. Overall, it's a pretty easy boss, but... If you let that happen, it can... Turn the tides of the battle quite quickly. I think this got an award for being the most innovative game at E3. It said something like that on the uh, on the box. So yeah, it's it's definitely a uh, unique game for the PS2. I'm a fan of the obscure, so you know. You'll see a lot of stuff like this from me. <laughs> I hope this game isn't too weird for you guys, but... I don't think I want to do too much damage to her right here. Because if I do, it may end up killing her quite easily. There we go. 
Now, if we just save the babies, it should finish her off. Run, children! Run for the hills! If you value your life, get out of here! Come with me if you want to live. Children's. And that's it for Siren. Uh, we're also out of time, so I'll have to cut off a little bit of this. So, see you next time, everybody.